This is our buggy lab and this is the data we collected. We're gonna ignore the zero. 1.9 second, 3.5 second, 5.4 second, 7.1 second, 8.6 second. One, two, this is one second, one, two, this is two second, one, two, this is three second, one, two, this is four second, one, two, this is five second, one, two, this is six second, one, two, this is seven second, one, two, this is eight second, one, two, this is nine second. Okay, we can even write 10 second, no problem. Uh, so increment, this one we're gonna increment by 0.1. So point, uh, so 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, all right, so 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. Um, so 1, 1.1, 1.2, uh, and then 1.3, 1.4, 1 1.5. So the last one is 1.5, and of course this is a D, D is in meter and T is in second. All right, so that's it. So now let's uh, draw the first point um, at point three, at point three, it is 1.9 at point 3 it is 1.9 right here this is our first point so we're going to check our first point the second point at point 6 uh, point 6 um, the card crosses point 6 is 3.5 second 3.5 second is this one 3.5 second the card crosses point 6 meters 3.5 second exactly right here okay no less no more the three um point nine meter five point four second five point four this is five point five so five point four must be close to this one so five point four this is five point four oh, okay no 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 this one this one not this okay so far so good now one point two meter seven point one second one point two meter and seven point one second right this is seven this is seven point one second very close to this one. And the last one, 1.5 meter, uh, 8.6 uh, 8 second, 8 1.5 meter, 8.6 8 second. So this is eight, this is 8.5, 8.6, 8.6 second. 8.6 second. So these are the point, now we're gonna use the ruler to draw it. We're gonna use the ruler to draw it, to draw the base fit line, of course. To draw the base fit line so so the base fit line is 50% of the data below and 50% of the data above so we have 1.2.3.4.5 point point. so I want to have two point below two point above and one point the the line goes to the one point uh, how, how does it look okay does one it doesn't look bad so this point of course you cannot take any point from here if I take point from here that would be no good so this is 3.5 comma 0.6 so 3.5 comma 0.6 this this is this point 3.5 comma 0.6 now I'm gonna take one more point and let's see which point that gonna be all right exactly this point this point is 6 comma 1 so six comma one. So six is two, this is y two. All right, so let's calculate the slope. So m is equal to y two minus y one, x two minus x one. Y two is one, y one is of course 0 0.6, x two is uh, six, and x one is 3.5. So you have 0 0.4 over uh, 2.5. 0 0.16 all right I'm gonna hit stat and then I'm gonna hit uh, enter and then I'm gonna uh, write 1.9 of course 3.5 of course 5.4 no 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 5.5.4 and then 7.1 and then 8.6 all right, now I have the y value, which is distance, 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 0 0.9, 1.9, 2, and 1.5. All right, so it's dead again. And then we have to go linear regression. And then we have to go calculation. 
and we have to get up 0 0.17 so 0 0.17 because to what we got before 0 0.16 and 0 0.17 are the same so dt graph the slope is of course this is displacement displacement versus time graph the slope is velocity and what is the velocity velocity is uh, 0 0.0.17 meter per second uh, by uh, regression and 0 0.16 meter per second by base fit line so you see that base fit line is very powerful if you follow the algebraic rules one thing if it is a dt graph then the slope is of course the speed and if it is a displacement versus time graph the slope is of course a velocity in this case the 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 dis, in this case the displacement and distance would be the same because as you saw that the buggy moves only to the positive direction for 1.5 meter and 8.6 seconds